Hey, this is Lego Cam 555 and today I'll be doing a review on the Lego Star Wars Mace Windu's Jedi Starfighter. It it's um set number uh 7868. And yeah, it comes with five minifigures. And hold on. Okay, so the first minifigure you get is Mace Windu. He is in, you can also get him in the Republic Attack Shuttle set. He has a purple lightsaber blade, chromish lightsaber hilt, and yeah, he has nice robes, and he's pretty cool though. You can also, yeah. And you also get two battle droids. Nothing really special about them. And you get a new tactical droid. I'm not sure what this is supposed to do. I mean, I've never heard of this thing before, but... He's nice blue color, and yeah, head, I don't know what the head is really. The legs are kind of like a super battle droid leg, just blue. Yeah. And yeah, he's pretty cool. And the last minifigure you get is R8B7, astromech droid. He is, he has goldish markings, blue head, grayish um, feet, and... Yeah, he's new. He's a new minifigure. I mean, he's not. I don't think he's been in any other set. So yeah, that's about it for the minifigures. It did not come with the base blade, of course. Okay, now under the vehicles, you get two blue staps. I think they're the same ones as in the ATTE Walker, but they might be a little different. So yeah, you get two of those. Okay. And then you also get this little speeder bike thing. It has this clear piece. I guess this is what the tactical droid drives. It has little handlebars, seat, some stickers there. Sticker right there, and sticker right there. On the front, yeah. That's about it for that. And now on to Mace Windu's Jedi Starfighter. There's some stickers there. Two stickers and four, two stickers on the outside. Two stickers there printed piece there and two stickers there little fin right there and there's where our, our um, R8B7 goes sorry I keep forgetting the name but yeah and the cockpit pops off there's a controls in there for Mace Windu they're just simple controls and yeah you know how many new goes in there, of course. And then I think for his lightsaber, let's put the cockpit back on. His lightsaber goes back here. You just take off the purple lightsaber blade and put it there, and you put the handle right there. I don't think that's kind of weird though. And you see these little plungers here. I'll show what those do in a minute. And yeah, one thing I like about this my starfighter is that compared to the other starfighters, this one actually has fire jet things coming out of their engines. The other ones just have nothing in there, so I thought that was nice. And there's landing gear right there, and then right there. And now on to the, the play feature for this is there's, um, hold on. You can see there's four quick fire missiles there. And yeah, these little levers back here, what you do is you push this thing, and it shoots two of them out. Yeah, it only shoots two at a time, but... Yeah, it's better than the flick fire missile system on the Ahsoka Starfighter, because it only had two, and it didn't really work that well. But yeah, the only problem is you have to have the landing gear up in order to, um... In order to flick it. Okay, yeah, I just broke it, but... Yeah, because the flick fire missile will hit the landing gear, and it will break. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this set. I mean, it's not that big, well... Yeah, it's about, I think it costs about 30, 40 US dollars, I think. I'm not so sure, but, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, you get a couple battle droids, and you get a rare Mace Windu minifigure. Well, I guess he's not rare, because most people, I have the Republic Attack Shuttle. So I, ha I have two Mace Windus, actually. So, yeah, that's all for this set, really. So, goodbye.